you guys can see that. Boom. Check that out. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to State 48 Turtle and Tortoise. I am Hayden and I just walked in the door from being out of town to come home to a surprise. I'm here with my brother-in-law Porter, he's over there. Um, we'll jump right into it. As you guys saw in the title and thumbnail, I came home to all my tortoises alive, doing great. They did a great job taking care of them. But they sent me a video of one of the tortoises breeding, the male tortoises, which I was excited about. Um, and I thought it was this guy because he is a known breeder. And then I looked at my other male and noticed his tail hanging down, which he never does. So I'm actually gonna let Porter grab the camera, even though I feel really weird um, behind the camera like this. But if you guys can see that, his genitalia is still sticking out and is not going back in because it's too dry. So I'm glad he's been breeding, but what we're gonna do is give him probably an hour soak in some water and what we've got here is a, some just good old sugar, you know, some sugar water. Um, it's a weird solution to the problem, but people say it works. This is actually my first time ever having this happen. I don't know how much water to put in, but I figure you can't really go wrong with it. So I'm just putting enough water in for the amount of gallons I'm putting in here. There's no real ratio, I'm just mixing it in. But what we want to do is basically, we're creating a lubricant for his, uh, you know, goods to go back inside of him. So this is my male that doesn't normally breed. Um, so I'm excited that he's breeding, but obviously his, uh, the junk's hanging out. So we've got to get that put back inside of him. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and leave him for a soak and we'll catch you guys back here in a little bit. So he's been soaking here for probably only five or 10 minutes. Things are already looking better. Um, he's gone in a little bit, but obviously you can tell it's probably been out for a little bit cause it looks a little bit irritated. Um, but we're getting close. We'll probably soak him for another half hour or so. Like I said, look, it's almost in. Um, but we're just going to keep soaking him and get things lubricated really, really well because it does look irritated there. Um, so we'll go ahead and do a quick, uh, we'll do a quick tour around the farm real quick and uh, come back and check on him in like 15 minutes. All right, so we've got turd male number two soaking right there. And that water is super sticky. I got it all over my hands. Um, all the tortoises are doing great. Chickens laid some eggs for him while we were gone. Um, and the reason I noticed that that male was having issues, I'll tell you guys really quick because I'm a great storyteller, um, is his tail was hanging down super low and I saw him chasing that female over there that is Scarlet. I saw him chasing her, noticed his tail was hanging down and I thought maybe he's the one who had been trying to breed while we were gone. Um, and sure enough, his uh, genitalia was sticking out. Um, but this guy, hopefully he gets things back into gear here pretty soon and starts breeding. Um, Someone said they didn't even know I had this tortoise recently. Um, this is my little guy. I actually got him at the same time as those two males. Uh, I guess he doesn't make it on the video a whole lot, but um, yeah, he's still around and getting big. He seems tiny because all the other tortoises are so big, but he's actually growing really, really great. Chickens are being turds as usual. Um, let's keep walking around and see what we've got here. Um, some water for the tortoises to drink from. And this guy here, I actually don't know what he rubbed on to make his shell have black. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go look around and see what he would've rubbed on. I wonder if it rubs off. I don't know what that was. I'll have to go look around and see what that is. But this is one of my females as well. And I think this might've been the tortoise he was mounting. I honestly don't know. I couldn't tell from the video that uh, my brother-in-law sent me. But um, it was one of the biggerish females. Um, I got the hose running right now, just trying to flood out this dry area over here. We've got a bale of orchard grass, whatever hay. Tortoises nibble on that from time to time. Um, we have got my big girl in here. This is Jules. I think we're gonna, let me know what you guys think, but I think we're gonna stick with the name Jules. I really, really like that suggestion. I also had the other suggestion of Tina. Maybe we give the name Tina to one of the other tortoises. Let me know what you think. But this is my big girl with the perfect and perfect scutes. Um, I think we're gonna call her Jules. I like that a lot. Um, and then I've really been thinking about the name for the snow rayard slider. 
Um, somebody had suggested Avalanche. I kind of thought, what if we named it Ava? So his name is Avalanche, we call it Ava. I don't know, let me know. It's a human name too, but whatever. Um, box turtles are doing great. They're under here. Oh, the other one's buried away back in there. I love these turtles. Um, we're gonna be building a new enclosure for them soon, hopefully to kind of, for the winter. So that should be coming on the channel relatively soon, I hope. But um, without further ado, let's go ahead and pull this guy out. He's been soaking now for a good, I don't even know, uh, probably been about 20, 25 minutes now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull him out real quick, get the camera set up, and we will see where we are at. All right, I think I'm in the frame. Here he is. All right, we are almost back in business. Look at that. Oh, he's doing the death roll. Um, he is a sticky, sticky boy. We are almost back in. Oh, there we go. And we are back in. Well, it's a little graphic, but we are back in business. I'm gonna still soak him for a little bit longer. And he is back in. Kind of got a gaping hole there, but we're gonna soak him for a little bit longer, probably another half hour, just to make sure everything gets nice and lubricated in there because obviously it's a little swollen. Um, but we're making progress. So that is good to know. I will catch you guys back here. Gonna run inside, take a little 20 minute break. We literally, literally just walked in the door from being out of town, guys. Um, and that's what happens when you own this many turtles. But any of you guys, I'll catch you back in a minute. Alrighty, it has been probably close, an hour, close to an hour. Um, we're gonna go check on that nail, see how he is doing in the soak, and get you guys that update. Boom, check that out. His unit is all back inside. I will, uh, it's a little swollen, the area's a little red. Um, I'm gonna rinse him off right now and we'll probably do this soak again tomorrow just with water. Um, now that everything is all lubricated and cleaned up in there. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a rinse, get all the sugar water off of him. And um, honestly, that's about gonna be it. We're just gonna keep an eye on it. Uh, make sure that as he continues to breed, because obviously he's starting to get active, make sure that he doesn't uh, have this happen again. So I'm going to get home from work tomorrow afternoon. We'll check him out again. Um, and I'll probably check on him tonight to make sure everything is still inside. But... The reason you want to get this handled is because if things, if things dry out... Um, Pretty sure you guys can imagine what happens if uh, his genitals dry out. Um, anywho, I would say that was successful. I'm glad I caught it. I'm glad I had the uh, forethought to check underneath him when I saw something that was not great um, or that looked out of the ordinary. And like Camp Kenan always says, that's why it's so important for you to know your animals because if I didn't know what his, his tail normally looked like, I probably wouldn't have seen that something was out of the norm and probably wouldn't lift it down because the last time I lifted up that guy to look at the bottom of the shell was weeks ago so um, definitely know your animals guys um, but yeah as you can tell he's cruising away happy as a clam and um, we're gonna go ahead and give him a soak tomorrow and that's gonna be a wrap on today's video guys I uh, hope this is helpful to some of you guys who end up with a tortoise with a prolapsed anus, prolapsed penis, female genitalia, whatever. Um, it can happen to anyone. I've always seen pictures of people on the tortoise page that um, are concerned when they see that happen. But I hope this video can help some of you guys out. I hope we can answer some of your questions. I mean, people are always posting, what do I do with my tortoise? Everyone says vet trip ASAP. I mean, save you guys some money unless it's literally like necrotic. Um, soak it in some sugar water, you'll get her fixed. And again, this can happen to the male's gonna tell you the penis, it can happen to the female gonna tell you that sometimes hangs out, or just a simple prolapsed anus. Um, the inside of their anus can kind of come out, so this trick will help fix that. So, um, any of you guys, click the subscribe button, click like, and a reminder to enter the Harvest Moon giveaway, which was my last video or two videos ago. Um, definitely enter that giveaway for an opportunity to bigger giveaway. Um, giving away another shirt. I like turtles, I'm not wearing it right now because obviously it was an impromptu video. But I appreciate you guys as always. Click like, lots of new things coming to the channel soon and I'll catch you next time. Peace.